people in the Caribbean, to me, as in many societies, but particularly here, that has it within it, it, it tells a history. It's part the slave history of what mm. slaves could eat or what they were allowed to access. It's mm. part the, the, the story of the colonizer. So whether it was an English or a Spanish or a French colonizer, those influences combined with the African and the slave traditions to create the cuisine that you have today. But you know what's the best part? What? We're not eating in the hotel. What are we doing? I'm gonna take you guys to the streets of Jamaica in Kingston! Yes. Yes. We're gonna go and uh, taste the real Jamaican Whoa. food. I really wanna get in there and really taste the real thing, right? To get the real thing is a big thing. The Cooking Sisters today, Michelle and Suzanne, took us to the streets of Kingston, Jamaica, searching for the perfect ingredients and the perfect flavor to describe Caribbean culture. From the minute they got to the market to meet us this morning, these girls were on it. They got these vibrant personalities and they're super intelligent. So the two of that combined, we knew today was gonna be a dynamic day. I gotta say, we know that you have a cooking show and we can already tell how comfortable you are in front of the camera. I'm looking at you ladies, it looks so nice. Well, we hope you're ready for some spicy food. because oh, So yeah. much fun, right. we're ready, ready for it. Woo. Are you ready? You like Let's it? do it. Let's Take do us it. into the market, guys. Let's do it. What is your favorite Jamaican food that you love oh, cooking? Boy. Well, I love aki. One, I aki. Love aki. aki itself is a fruit, it grows on a tree. Oh. It's our national dish. We can show it to you, they oh, have yeah. some over yes. here. Right. And, and it has um, a bad rap, you know, because if you're not cooked properly, it can be poisonous. Oh my exactly. gosh. So, but we won't poison you, we know yeah. how to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we know how to do it. Is this a papaya or yes. is it a papaya? Okay. Papaya or what we call <laughs> papa. This is what we call June plum. In Trinidad, they call it pomsite. We love this. What I love about all of this fruit and vegetables, ladies, is a lot a lot of this I never see in Canada. Cool. I don't know about you, Rodrigo. Of course not. But this is all Definitely new. This is new to us. Don't see this in yeah. Canada. We all said these ladies have personalities unlike anybody we've ever met. They initially made us so comfortable, they had us laughing so much. They're these self-made women. They basically went out there and wrote this cookbook and then was able to sell it. And now they have their own cooking show. They were so genuine to us. You know, we've been traveling for a long time and experienced different cultures. And just to know that they do the same thing by using food, we kind of relate to them in a way. Look at this. It's so We're beautiful. So glad that you like it. This is Welcome. the most yeah. stunning kitchen I've it ever is. seen. Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. So you like the breadfruit, so I figured you could we could get Perfect. you to try to peel this and, and get it ready. Yeah, for I might need a little instruction about <laughs> how to do that. No, you yeah. figure that out. You can do it on your own. Then oh, you're with the bread. <laughs> I do. Then, then you can do the fish. Okay. Yeah. The salt we're gonna fish. do an ackee and salt fish for you. So got it. Um, that's the that's the bacalao or the cod. Yeah. I'm from the island of Newfoundland, uh -huh. uh, which you know in Canada. Uh -huh. We used to exchange our salt cod mm -hmm. for your rum. That's and right. in Newfoundland, we call it screech. You've oh. heard of this? Oh, screech. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. we thank you for the screech, ladies. Oh. <laughs> so how do I start okay, so this? You can cut the two sides off, and then you can just kind of cut down on, along, this, uh, along the skin. Okay, and perfect. Remove the skin. All right, okay? I'll start doing that. So you roasted it. Yeah, well, we bought to it prepare roasted. it. Yes. It's right. This Red is fruit, man. man. Is this your favorite way to eat it? I like it fried I, and roasted. I love it just hot off of the fire and peeled with just some butter and salt. And then it's piping oh, hot. Oh, that sounds so That's good. That's how I love Smell it. That? Basically, just to pick up, the, this is a picked up salt fish. And so it's boiled first. So you just basically can take off the skin with the knife and clean it off. All right. Get rid of all of that stuff. And then just start to pick it up, so I'll leave you. And just drop it on the ball. Mm. Troy, count to 10. I'm gonna do it in 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! <laughs> Bum, your turn. Nice. Before we do, we'll show you how you do. You prepare the aki first. So who's gonna, who wants to take that on? Oh. Wow. So you say if it's not cooked properly, it can be poisonous. So right. what's the proper way to cook okay. this? You open it's out, out the pot like this. Oh. And nice. it wow. reveals and then you pick out these so three. Crazy. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. yeah. You have to take out this seed. Right. And, and we'll remove show you this remove inner this? string. This is oh, a poisonous. So I mean, this is why you, you don't eat the seed. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Oh, After going to the market today, I realized that there's so many dishes that you can make, and there's so many vegetables and fruits, and 
like from what you guys have told me, mm -hmm. everyone is so creative in their cooking. Like you use every all of these things. We're yeah. using materials yeah. that are unique and authentic to Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. 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 We just right? worked on. So what we would always do is we would season up half. with um, a mixture of tomatoes, garlic, onion. Yeah, these are green peppers. Let's set it up there. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Yes, chef. So in while that is cooking, what I'm doing over here is a callaloo. So the callaloo bush was this. Remember, we picked up this green, the yeah. Korean green. So this is it prepped and cleaned and chopped up in a sort that of looks so much what like you would kale. call it. A little bit more like sort kale. Of, so this is actually, um, in Trinidad, Calo would be dashing leaves. These are amaranth leaves. And so what you would do is you, you clean it, you trim it, and then you like dice it up chop and it. then chop it up and then you saute it with some you know up onions, peppers, etc. And, and steam we're it down. So good. Cooking some for you for breakfast. Yay. Ladies, what's your inspiration for cooking? I think we tried, I think what we tried to do with, with our style of cuisine is to combine traditional, very authentic Jamaican flavors and the ingredients we use here with a more modern style of preparation and a more sophisticated one. And I think outside of Jamaica, what you find too is that people don't know the ingredients. They don't know how to work with it. So they think it's really complex. They think it's really difficult to roast a breadfruit yeah, or that not. it's really hard to do ackee, <laughs> but it isn't. And so if you are a foodie and you like food and you like mm. culture and you like to explore flavors, you know, the Caribbean offers a lot of really amazing produce. And look really at the planting. The planting. Holy so that smokes. That well. Is that how you eat them? Mexico? That's how we eat them in Mexico, actually. You fry them as well we like We fry this. them as well like mm -hmm. that. You know what's really great to do with the planting that we do in the book? We cook, they put it in the oven with rum and brown sugar and butter oh and you do like God. a roasted planting and you, it makes like a oh. syrup. Does it turn like a caramel? And then you leave it caramelized. Because they're, and then they're, it gets, they're brown. And you leave the planting whole. Now that is another way that we oh my God. it. So this would be, this is a vegetarian version of ackee. So it's ackee cooked with tomato, bell pepper, thyme, scallion, garlic, scotch bonnet. Without any salt fish. <coughs> I put quite a bit of pepper in here, so it can be spicy. And I tried it, it is. Bio. You gotta be spicy, you gotta be spicy. Yeah, like, like you need to spice, spice it up, money. baby. If you're not spicy, you have then you're to. Who wants to be vanilla? <laughs> what? Oh. What is vanilla? Like we gonna eat Jamaican food. Yeah, mom. Yeah. <laughs> We, all right. don't know how to we took all the food and we went into her parents' dining room. And on travels, usually you don't have the opportunity to come into someone else's home and see how they're living and see the way that they eat and what their dining room looks like and the type of you know dishware and, and napkins that they're using. And it was all so colorful and it was absolutely beautiful. When I thought of Jamaican cooking, I thought of jerk chicken. And now I know that it's so much more creative than that. Like there's all these different types of, of dishes that you can make with all the stuff that is here in Jamaica. I feel like Emily have found that being a vegetarian won't limit her selection of food when she travels anymore. She was very surprised about Suzanne and Michelle how much they know about food and they have a answer for everything. When you travel and you go around to all these new places, what are you always looking for? Like what's the essence of, of what are you trying to People find? People like you. Honestly, I hope to be able to do something like this again with these ladies. As they continue to travel the world and film and do their book signing, I really genuinely hope to run into them somewhere along the traveler's path.